bloodbath tonight in the rural town of Shinnom. Everyone here is hiding a secret. Four more victims found scattered. Some worse than others. I came as fast as I could. I'm Deputy Ruth Vogel. And soon, my quiet life will never be the same. Realm presents a 30 Ninjas production. Chinook. Starring Kelly Marie Tran and Sanaa Lathan. Listen to Chinook wherever you get your podcasts. With your long forgotten name, we call upon you. We call upon you. In the words of the unspeakable language, we call upon you. We call upon you. By the spilt blood of the wicked who walk upon this world sprouting the words of false idols, we call upon you. We call upon you. On the land of the dead harvest, that which brings the earth itself into your service, Yamal, we call upon you. We call upon you. We call upon you. We call upon you. The Sprouting, a Call of Cthulhu actual play podcast by Blighthouse Studio. Find us on your podcatcher of choice. And now, a special edition of the Toddcast podcast. Powered by Citywide Mortgage Services. Providing complete financing and mortgage services for residential and small commercial businesses. Visit them at citywidemortgage.ca. Now, here's your host, Todd Hancock. The amount of people who have seen a UFO have gone on record, having watched an unidentified flying object dash across the sky, 90-degree turns and colorful lights shaped like an orb, stuff that doesn't exist on Earth. Straight up sci-fi, the things you see in the movies. Well, people see these sorts of things. And when you think about how big the universe truly is, apparently it's so big you can't even comprehend how big it is. There's got to be an E.T. out there, right? Another being, another life form, maybe like E.T., maybe like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Who's to say they don't have technology far beyond what we possess? Could they be far more advanced than humans? Of course, absolutely. Do you think they live among us? There are people who think that. Hell, I've seen some people over the years that it wouldn't surprise me if you said that they were aliens. Aliens could be living among us, and we would never know. It's your hairdresser, the kid that does your company's social media. Maybe it's your mechanic, and what a trip to think about that, hey? Maybe one day we'll have concrete evidence. Until then, do you think they're watching from afar, coming down to abduct someone from time to time and doing who knows what with the bodies during the abduction. Joe Rogan's new special on Netflix has something pretty comical sidetracks about that. Lots of people have made claims. There's just no scientific proof that aliens have visited or live on Earth. Or the government is doing a damn good job of keeping very tight-lipped. I wonder what the general public would do if it was revealed that aliens live among us and they're day to day, just alongside of us. Uh, my name is Todd Hancock. While aliens could be disguising themselves to walk around in public, you know, got a day job at 7 Eleven, or that they could be hiding out and just kind of watching Earth, seeing everything. And it's a recon mission, I guess, right? It's not good news for the people of Earth if, if that's the case. Well, this week, you will hear thoughts about aliens from nine guests. In sports, a retired WWE superstar, a former glory kickboxing fighter, and a Bellator MMA octagon girl turned podcaster. In entertainment, he's an actor, and you'll know him from Riverdale, a triple X porn star, and an author slash model. And this week's musical guest in just a second, a rock band from Edmonton, Alberta, Allison Chains' producer, amongst other bands, and the frontman of one of punk's most influential. Coming up shortly in Stop Me If You've Heard This Before, retired NHL goaltender Corey Hirsch talks about realizing his true potential to play in the NHL. That is powered by three-year sponsor, FKP MMA. Learn self-defense, build your self-esteem. My kid Levi, he goes, and you can see his progression, not on the mat, but in his confidence, his everyday life, FKP trains Bigfoot Caillou Machado of the UFC. He dropped down, I think, a few weeks back to light heavyweight, but expect him to take off 
kid's powerful. They are Vancouver's number one training destination. Check them out through fkpmma.com. First, let's get to some thoughts about aliens from our musical guests, all of whom are powered by the Hawkins Sound Ranch. Corey, the owner, has been at it for decades, playing in bands and touring and all that good stuff, Uh, producing bands as well. He's a a jack-of-all-trades, I guess, if you will. Get over 20 years experience and use their state-of-the-art studio. Commercial sound on an indie budget. It doesn't have to break the bank. Check them out through the HawkinsSoundRanch.com. Of course, they're kicking around on Instagram and on Facebook, too. So Royal Tusk is a Canadian rock band that you should know. If not, get these guys on your radar. As mentioned, they're from Edmonton, Alberta. I talked to the full band. This is years back now. And they shared their thoughts on aliens visiting Earth. <laughs> we got two of them in the band, actually. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, Sandy, y- yes, absolutely. You think that, you know, the universe is so massive. You think we're the only living beings out there? Yeah. <laughs> There's aliens living among us. Come on, let's get real. I think there are. I think, you know. I think so, too. Big time. Yeah, I fully believe in the David Icke uh, reptilian species that's, you know, infiltrated our world. <laughs> right. So look for those people that look super weird. Those are the aliens that live among us. All you gotta do is go to like a state fair or something like that. See the guy running the, the fucking uh, Ferris wheel. He for sure is a lizard man. <laughs> From a cool Canadian rock band to a producer engineer who's worked with, as mentioned, Alice in Chains, but Metallica, Corn, Slayer, Fishbone, Kiss, Ozzy. Check out what Toby Wright had to say. I think they're still here, and they live here. There you go. I also think the same thing. I think they live among us. They don't look any different than the rest of us. There's some strange-looking people on this planet. Like, yes. You know, so Definitely. are that are those them? <laughs> right. Like, you never know. Uh, I don't know. You never know. Right. And from one of Rock's best producers to a band that formed when I was 10 years old, back in 1983. They are from Los Angeles, California, one of the most successful indie bands of all time. One of the most influential punk bands of our generation. Listen to what no effects singer Fat Mike had to say about aliens. Uh, the, the real question here is, do I care? <laughs> right. Which is no. Just like I don't care if there's a god. But I, you know, I like to think, I think the chances are that there was some kind of design element in, uh, not design, but something, be, there's more to evolution than meets the eye. I think it's a little bit of both. Because mm-hmm. uh, there, there were some big jumps in evolution. Certainly was, yeah. And there's some that, uh, you know, things that you, you question, like how was it done? And, you know, you look at the Egyptian pyramids for one. And the, yeah. the the lining up of the certain degrees and whatever and, and the ones that are underwater, come on. Right. That's just like how, crazy. How did how did that happen? Well duh. Right? Magic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Toddcast Podcast. Musical guest visits are powered by the Hawkins Sound Ranch. Use their twenty plus years of experience to record at their state of the art studio. Commercial sound on an indie budget. Visit thehawkinsoundranch.com for more. I was up all night, stuck in a dream. The haze between reality was wearing on me. And I'm tired of wearing it. It's like I forgot just how things were. Time went by and I was sure I was over it. But I'm not over it. Every time this feeling crashes in. I gotta tell myself, baby, push your worry down. It's too much to carry. It ain't yours to hold. Oh, baby, push your worry down. You just keep drowning. You gotta let it go. In the past, praying to God the pain won't last in those memories, but they're just memories. Treading water, tiring out. I'm sick of all this endless doubt that's weighing on me. It can't keep weighing on me. Every time this feeling crashes in, I gotta tell myself, baby, push. 
You've heard this before on the Toddcast podcast. You'll know retired NHL goaltender Corey Hirsch for a couple key reasons. The first, the obvious, he played for the Stars, the Capitals, the Rangers, the Canucks, was in the NHL from 95 through 02, finished his career with a 2.93 goals against and an 8.99 save percentage. He was the backup goaltender for Kirk McLean, although you might not realize that just looking at the overall stats. Corey won the WHL's Memorial Cup. He won Olympic silver at the 94 Olympics in Norway. Simply put, he is one of Canada's best tenders of all time. The other reason that you'll know Corey, he's been a huge advocate for mental health awareness over the years. He put out his book, The Save of My Life, My Journey Out of the Dark, a few years back now, and he hasn't been shy about telling his own story and his struggle over the years. Corey's made a mark both on and off the ice, and when he jumped the Zoom with us, we talked about all sorts of things like superpowers and binging the World Series of Poker. We talked about superstitions, Kiss, Tina Turner, and Prince came up. So did growing up with the music of Elvis Presley. He shared a Romanian near-death story. And stop me if you've heard this before, Corey talked about when he realized his true potential to play in the NHL. Uh, Probably really started recognizing when I was about 14, 13 or 14. Um, You're just so much better than everybody else. Um, and that's, that's not being, you know, bragging or, or being arrogant. It's just, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. Like, like people like, just couldn't score on you. Yeah. Like Connor Bedard. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't as good as Connor Bedard, but like, yeah. I mean, they just, you, you dominated every level. Right. And, um, so yeah, yeah, you have, you have a pretty good idea. Um, you know, I would say, you know, 90% of the NHL, those guys were the best players in their league on their teams and their cities. Right. I mean, that's, uh, they, they were just always that talented and there are some, you know, there's a lot that don't get drafted that are, are still good players. Um, you know, that, that bloom a little later, but for the most part, you know, it, it, it's typically the kids that are, are, they're the ones that dominate, you know, are going to have the opportunity to, and then a lot of things have to happen along the line, right? I mean, coaches have to like you, you have to get on good teams, you have to have good players around you. Like there's so much that has to happen yeah. uh, to be able to play in the NHL. It's, it's ridiculous. Mm, but you knew fairly early, like 13 is pretty 13, 14. That's pretty early. Yeah. You wouldn't say it's the NHL. You knew you were going to play, but you know, you're, yeah, but you know, you're good. Yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. know, you're, you know, you're, you're good. You know, you're, you're better than, you know, most every yeah, you're because you're, you're you're yeah, you're you're going to summer camps, you're getting invited to junior camps, you're getting invited like so yeah, you have a you have a good idea of, of you know, like um your level anyways or the opportunity. And then it's uh, after that it's probably better that you don't know what's happening to you, right? Like cause you just get kind of shot out of a cannon into into uh the professional sports world. 
Stop Me If You've Heard This Before on the Toddcast Podcast is powered by FKP MMA, Vancouver's number one training destination at fkpmma.com. And now, highlighting our next blue light sessions, powered in part by Canadian Club Whiskey. Meet your new cold one. We serve Canadian Club and Ginger ready-to-drink cocktails at all of our live shows. Visit CanadianClub.com today. seeing that one full band her name is emily malloy and that's going back a few years it's called are you not entertained and i bet you'll see that one at our next live show you're what only 10 days away now from seeing emily headline our next blue light sessions on friday september 20th blue light studio in east vancouver as mentioned full band emily malloy 
and Kara Bateman. Uh, Kara, we're going to play something from Kara later on in the podcast. They will both get a 45-minute set. I will interview uh, during the performance as well. You can ask questions too, of course, like normal. It's intimate. It's interactive. If you buy early, you save bucks. Uh, right now through eventbrite.ca, it's just 20 bucks. If you want to gamble and wait for the door, hopefully there's still tickets. We only let 60 people in. 25 bones if you wait for the door. Uh, doors are at 7 o'clock. Show is at 8-ish. I played you a new song for Sadie Campbell as well, new to the podcast. It's called Put Your Worry Down. And Sadie's essentially now from Nashville, although she did live in Vancouver uh, for a long time. Worked at Fox back in the day when I was doing uh, the afternoon f- show for them. Uh, was starting her musical career then, back then, like way back then, I don't want to say way back then, we wouldn't age ourselves too much, but I remember seeing her live before she took off to Tennessee. Anyway, I love Sadie's latest album. It, um, so many good songs on it. I tapped uh, and tagged Big La- a Big Loud, a big label uh, down there, a comment section last month, Joey Moy. Um, has a, a big hand in that label. And Joey, if you didn't know, is a long time, uh, was Nickelback's longtime producer. So we've known each other for, I mean, a long time, probably 25 years. Have partied like crazy together many, many times. So I was hoping that Big Loud eventually finds their way to Sadie Campbell because her new song is huge. Again, it's called Put Your Worry Down. So coming up in just a few minutes, in listen to this, WBFF World Bikini Champ Heidi Cannon shares her five-year plan to release a TV show. Well, I guess it would be more like four years now at this point because when she was back on the podcast about a year back now, what a beauty. That is powered by Tedco RV Supplies in Langley. RV service and repairs, ICBC accredited. They have been sponsoring the podcast for eight years straight no breaks absolutely key in why we've been able to continue big big love to tamra and everyone there you can find them online through facebook and on twitter at tedco rv supplies first more guest thoughts about alien visitations abductions living among us and some of our sporting guests all of whom are powered by hand over hand textiles in vancouver hand over hand textiles.com check out their website you can tell that quality Quality is top of mind. Naturally dyed goods for your home, for your body. Talking bandanas and socks and dishcloth and scarves and shirts, pillowcases, pajamas. You will love their work. Top notch. And they only use pure plant extracts, natural fibers. I just read that they're uh, Mother Earth approved, which is pretty cool. Locally owned, locally operated. Find them through handoverhandtextiles.com as mentioned. You can also see more on Instagram. So you got to admit that the idea of aliens visiting us and kind of living among us is quite fascinating. It's a bit of a mind fuck, really. Most open-minded people I've talked to about it say, sure, why not? I mean, how could we live in such a big universe and not have other beings visit us from time to time, you know, without being seen? I wonder if those who say no way aliens have never been here, we would know it. It's a load of BS. I wonder if those people would ever agree even with 100% proof positive, right? Like, think about this. There are theories that that say that humans could live and inhabit Mars or the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, that then we would be the aliens. We just need the technology, I think. And you know that there would be people that would want to blast off into space and man the mission, so to speak, person the mission, I guess. If you've followed aliens and spacecrafts and all that over the years, there has been unexplained sightings, unverified encounters. And how far back does that go? Like, when did aliens first visit us? Did they help build the pyramids? Did they build them and then leave? The precision of these builds, the writing on the walls and showing flying objects and weird artifacts with modern technology. Uh, But let's get to our guests again and their thoughts on aliens. You'll better know Scott Levy as retired WWE superstar Raven, although he was on them all, ECW, WCW, WWF, TNA, WWE, one of the best talkers in the game, one of the most decorated wrestlers in history, 36 title reigns under WWE, WCW, and ECW banners. Of course. 
Absolutely. Yeah. If you study ancient alien theory, there's no way they haven't. You know, I'm really well versed in that area. Mm. Um, it's a it's a big hobby of mine, and I've probably read like 50 books on it. And uh, yeah, I mean the Sumerian. I, mean, I could go way back, but the Sumerian culture, the first culture that ever existed, mm-hmm. uh, with uh, and and they had a part. They had a bicameral parliament. They had a bicameral legislation. I mean, they had uh, the first. I mean, this is this is six thousand years ago. They had they had uh, they had they had doctors. They had and the doctors were only paid if the patient healed, if the patient got better. And Think about that. They had a welfare state. They had uh, all this stuff six thousand years ago that nobody knows about. Mm. And uh, and there's no way, and it just sprung up from nowhere. There had to be aliens involved. And and here's the thing: if you just think about it from a religious point of view, just take just take God for instance. The Jews. God comes down and tells the Jews that you're going to wipe out all these other people. You're my, you're my boys, and you're going to wipe everybody else out. Mm-hmm. Does that sound like a fair and loving God? No, it sounds like an alien trying to take over, and he, an alien would be seen as a God by people who don't know any better, right. you know, by people who just you know, dig in the mud. And, and it makes a lot more sense that, that an alien is telling Laura, you're going to wipe out all these people with our help than... You need then I'm the kind and loving God, but I'm going to be vengeful and wrathful and make you kill all these people for no reason, even babies. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, wasn't it uh, the guy from Blink-182, um, Tom DeLong, just re- released a video, and the government, the U.S. government, has actually said, you know what, yes, we have, there yeah. has been proof, and it's funny, like, uh, the way that people's say, minds go now. They won't say it's outer space. Wait, they won't say it's from outer space. They say, and they won't say the word alien. They say it's not of earthly technology, but they won't right. go. But they won't. They won't say the full. You know, if it's not earthly, it has to be outer space or alien. It's got to be but something that's not have, from here. But, but, but at least they've taken a step, though. From one of the best wrestlers to ever do it, to retired Glory kickboxing fighter Trevor Ragin and his thoughts about aliens visiting and living among us. You know, it's funny. Everyone's posting about that. Like I see all the memes and everything. I don't know the, the first thing about <laughs> what the hell anyone's talking about. <laughs> As much as I'm on social media, I don't even know what that... I mean, I see Area 51 memes, but I have no clue what any of this is about. Do you think that uh, we've been visited, though? Um, no, nah, not really. I mean, I think we would have seen them, and... I mean, there's just too much technology now to where, like, if anything like that happens, somebody's going to see it, and it's going to go viral. And from a retired glory kickboxer to a retired Bellator MMA octagon girl turned podcaster, the brilliant Mercedes Terrell. When she was a guest, she was doing an excellent podcast with Jade Bryce called the Magic Hour Podcast. She's just a natural at what she does, which you'll hear in her other show, Mercedes and the Chap. Uh, we're here, aren't we? I mean, yeah, for sure. I think, uh, I think, um, we started out as them. So yeah, Yeah. absolutely. I mean, if you're thinking of like little green dudes running around, um, I think if there's a species that's able to get here and has the ability, the technology or whatever it takes in order to, to find us, then come be here. Mm. They probably also have the ability to be unseen or come, you know, undetected in some way. So, so yeah, if we're trying to like guess about it. Then it's probably already happening, whether it's in this universe or a parallel universe, it's for sure happening. Parallel universe. Really? You're opening up that door. Okay. All right. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah. It's, wouldn't it be amazing that there, if there wasn't another life form in the universe and we're the, that, only, would, be like, really amazing. that would be amazing if we were the only ones that just doesn't, does not compute. We, we really want to be that special, though. I think we, we really do. do. I don't think we are, though. <laughs> I think there's aliens living among us. I, for sure. I think even some of us, when we encounter each other, we could... I walk away from some encounters going, that person was not of this planet, for sure. Yeah. You know? The Toddcast Podcast is powered by Milano Coffee, bringing you the finest espresso and coffee concepts in the world. Online at milanocoffee.ca.
to this on the Toddcast podcast. It's proven that exercise can boost your physical health, enhance your mental well-being. It can even improve your sleep, increase energy levels, support weight management, and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. It's impressive stuff. And WBFF World Bikini Champion Heidi Cannon is among the elite. She lives in Vancouver. She's a trainer at Fit in Six. She's also the CEO of Mrs. Cannon's Kitchen and a six-time cover model. And when Heidi jumped to Zoom to be a guest, we talked about her love of Jewel Coy's stand-up. Gambling in Vegas came up. She talked about meeting Limp Biscuits Fred Durst. She shared what her cheat foods are. We talked about first cars, her crush on Aston Kutcher. She told a Rolling Stones in concert story and talked about growing up with the music of Fleetwood Mac, Disco, Coolio, and ABBA. And Heidi talked about her five-year plan and how she wants to release a TV show. Set those life goals. Listen to this. Like I see myself, um, husband and I have a couple businesses in the States. So I see myself living in San Diego in five years and having my own show online. That's my goal. And I'm going to make it happen. That's very cool. Have you got a name in mind? Have you got a nice uh, it's gonna show? Be called like... Tomboy. It's going to be called Tomboy. And it's going to be like a, this is kind of what we're doing. Like I maybe shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. It, in Vegas, the when I go to CMAP, it's going to, we're filming like a pilot for it to see where it goes. But basically I go and I interview other women that are like me that are like cute and like to like shoot guns or like race cars or golf or, you know, do fun stuff. And then I interview these women. That sounds awesome. Right. Kind of fun. Yeah, totally. That's cool. cool. That's cool. Like how exciting is that to have like that all (laughs) ready and planned out and you're going to have a film crew around you and shit. Well, this is, this Pretty is awesome. what we're going for. So you never know where life takes you, right? That's the biggest thing I think I like to tell all my people that like, I would never, like five years ago, I would never see myself where I am right now. So you never know like what doors right. open, you know? So yeah. I think that's fun in a way. You can have a goal and a dream, but like, I think if you keep working towards it, you know, be open to whatever happens. Cause there's lots of things along the way that you'd be like, holy shit, that happened. Or like, what like i have a chicken restaurant is that random or what because a year ago i would not think that i'm owning a chicken restaurant and we're opening another one next week and i'm going to it like it's just nuts you know nice Nice. right go with the flow go with the flow you never know what's gonna happen 
that's kind of it, right? Listen to this on the Toddcast podcast is brought to you by Tedco RV Supplies in Langley, an ICBC approved repair shop. Visit them on Facebook and Twitter at Tedco RV Supplies. Kara Bateman and her latest song is called 1956 played that last week and got such an amazing response to it on social media that I wanted to play it back to back weeks give it some more love a song that was written the day after Roe versus Wade was overturned about women's rights and gender equality very very powerful stuff and you can see Kara play in East Vancouver not this Friday but next I bet you she's going to play that song Friday September 20th at the Blue Light Studio in beautiful East Vancouver. You can see her playing alongside of Emily Malloy. Emily is the second on, so get this straight. Hold on a second. They're not playing together, but they will play a show together, if that makes any sense. Kara's on first, Emily's on second. 45-minute sets uh, with the interviews, the performance, intimate, interactive. Again, buy early through eventbrite.ca, eventbrite, B-R-I-T-E, uh, eventbrite.ca. 20 bucks right now, 25 bucks at the door. Doors are at 7 o'clock. The show will start around 
eight ish. I played you a great song, a new song for the band Cloud Sick. It's called In Between and certainly front runners for the best album to cross my desk this year. It's six songs and every single song is so good. You don't get that all too often, to be completely honest. So it's great to see Cloud Six stepping up and representing punk here in Vancouver. Uh, we've been chirping off each other back and forth to have a good time together, trying to dial up a Blue Light Sessions as well with those guys. And you got to know got to know that these guys are going to kick some serious ass. Everyone's ass is going to get kicked if and when we work that out. Stoked to hopefully, can't wait to get that one on the books. Uh, Speaking of live music, you can find a list of indie shows you should be checking out happening in Vancouver, Canada and the area with the concert calendar at ToddHancock.ca. If you're playing a show, if you're going to one, if it's indie, let me know about it. I'll get it up at the website, get some free advertising for your show, maybe play a song in the cast as well, but you got to send me your music. I would love to hear what you're working on. All right, so okay, so let's get to the final guests of this episode 342, talking about aliens, visiting, living among us, abductions, and some thoughts from past entertainment and lifestyle guests. They're powered by Thrive Management. Elevate your next event with a good friend's company. One of the premier event staffing agencies in Canada. We're talking models, brand ambassadors, skilled professionals. Let them bridge the gap to a great event, whether it's sales, TV and film, trade shows, home maintenance, whatever it is, Thrive can help dial it up for you. The owner, Sasha, is a longtime friend of the podcast. She's done it all as well. Modeling was an influencer before the term even existed. She literally knows everything everyone. Find out more through thrivemanagement.ca. And you'll know this actor from his work in Riverdale, Stargate Atlantis, Sanctuary, Battlestar Galactica, Pure, X-Files, Van Helsing, Arrow. He's born in Victoria, lives in Squamish, a good Canadian kid, a longtime friend of the podcast. Listen to actor Ryan Robbins talk about alien visitation. Oh, how dare you? Yes. (laughs) I, in some capacity, I, I don't know. Uh, the short answer is, um, yeah, I think I also, but I also think that we used to be way smarter and we just got dumber. I also like, I, 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 I do think that there is, um, there's just some things that we just don't understand. And then and maybe aliens, I, I, do, I don't disbelieve the idea of aliens at all because I, why wouldn't there be? You know, you know, it would be the reverse. Like, you know, it's less feasible that they haven't. Yeah. How the, arrogant the, is it to the, think that the, this huge universe that we know nothing about, that we're it? Right. Like, that just seems that just seems arrogant to me. But, I, you know. We're yeah, kind like of NASA's species. Kepler program has identified, I don't know, like it's a, it's a million planets or something like that. It's some ridiculous number. Even yeah, It doesn't need to necessarily be humanoids. It no, could be just also, something. And of all people to start, like, it, not exposing, but, you know, stuff became declassified. And to bring that knowledge to the public, Tom DeLong from Blink-182 right. is, like, leading this crazy charge and going, like, look what's available. This totally. is what's available. And, and, the, like, and the oh government and the U.S. government saying, absolutely, aliens exist. And people, yeah. are, it, it, it's at that point now where the, the super information highway is, w- 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 our attention span is, like, six minutes. Oh, dude, like, nobody cares. Nobody they cares, just, dude. They like, declassified. Nobody cares. They're like, oh, yeah, no, these are for sure UFOs. Like, these are yeah. like, yeah, we think these like, yeah, are yeah. Pro- pro- probably alien shit. So people are like, oh, yeah, cool. What's great. Trump doing? That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Have we impeached him yet? We did. Yeah. Oh, but then he bombed up. Are, he are we going to war with Iran, Iran or what's oh. going on? Oh, right. Cookies over here. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're just, it's, we're all over yeah. that. It's, yeah. it's like an impeached president potentially just started a war and we're just like, nah, I'm over my, that's my six minute limit. From a well-known Canadian actor to an actress producer, you'll know for a number of reasons. She was in Big Rich, Texas, the gay Christian mingle and the millionaire matchmaker. She's the author of Daughters of Dementia. She's a certified mediator, life coach, a TV host, former almost supermodel. When we talked to Leslie Berkland, she had some thoughts to share on aliens. Of course. Of course. I, I think and if so you want to look at it from a biblical standpoint, or, you know, from, from people that, you know, on, you know, they think that we're the center, they thought our world was flat. They thought we were the center of the universe. We mm-hmm. find out that all these things aren't true. But I look at it as a great insult to God 
to think that he would take, you know, one itty bitty little tiny planet in the vast universe mm-hmm. uh, and and the only life on that planet. Um, so I think that it's an insult, you know, that what we only know what we know or what was ever was put in, you know, Constantine was allowed to put in the canon and people just take that, that there's nothing else that you can go. But I do believe that, you know, how did we get Nostradamus? How did we get Socrates? Where did all these people come from? Where did their knowledge come from? Mm-hmm. You know, living in, in times where most people couldn't even read. You were considered a scribe if you could write your name, you know? <laughs> so, well, what do you think? Todd. Oh, I a hundred percent agree that uh, not only have we been visited, I think that there's aliens living among us. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if I'm an alien, but then I've determined that I'm probably uh, not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And from an actress, author, producer to someone who's worked in the adult entertainment industry since 2007, nominated multiple times for AVN awards along the way. Here's some thoughts from Triple X icon Sarah Vandella. I mean, they would have to, right? I, I, I feel like they would have had to. I think so too. I feel like they would have had to. Like I yeah, felt sometimes sure. that they even live among us. I wouldn't be surprised at this point, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. TalkCast Podcast Entertainment Guest Visits are powered by Thrive Management, an event staffing agency that provides staffing services across Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, Ottawa, and all of BC. Find out more at thrivemanagement.ca. Yeah.
Old Truck Beer. You never forget your first truck. Official beer of the Toddcast Podcast. Can we have a conversation? I'm pretty sure you hate me lately. If I'm just being honest, it seems you're trying to evade me. good is it to hear new music from those guys they are chase the bear and a new song for them been out for a couple of weeks now but it's new to the podcast it's called off balance and that's the first i'm hearing of five singles that they have in the chamber so we should be hearing new chase the bear for months to come which is super super rad love those guys they've been working with danny craig and the team at rock is dead records and 604 records so expect bigger and bigger things to come out of those guys had chase the bear play a podcast show just a killer job super memorable you can hear it at our youtube channel if you, if you want to dig around it's worth hearing if you want to dig around for it as we inch closer to putting this one to bed aliens do they live among us do they visit us do they watch from afar are are people really getting abducted or are those just people that need someone to tell them that they're loved attention seekers nothing better to do messing with people the concrete evidence is not there or is it if spacecrafts have been found alien life form do the governments around the world around the in these countries do they try to suppress it afraid of what it would do to the general public would it cause an uproar or would it be announced and then everybody would forget about it a couple days later and just get swept into the news cycle like everything else does hey i'm just saying it's a big universe out there right an et flying down to a 7-eleven seems plausible with technology that's far beyond what we have as humans camouflaged and like doppelgangers you just never tell anyway regardless thanks to all of our guests this week continuing to throw a spotlight on their visits most years i mean years past when they were guests again my name is todd hancock thank you so much for listening episode 342 please if you like what you heard tell tell your friends about what we're doing here we are part of the realm.fm network 
They are based out of New York City, worldwide distribution. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, Megaphone, YouTube for all of our video-related content. Comment and rate the podcast. Of course, all that stuff helps out with the searches, right? Search us out through what else? Toddcast podcast. Huge thanks to all of our wonderful sponsors. It's their support that drives the bus. Lots of moving parts with what we do, and we're super thankful that they are along for the ride. You can find all links to all sponsor websites at toddhancock.ca, the revamped, the newly revamped toddhancock.ca. If you'd like to become a sponsor with your business, you can, you know, for as little as 10 bucks a day. Contact info is at the homepage and have a beer, have a coffee, see what's up. If you help us find a sponsor, PS, we will give you a commission. So keep that in mind. If you know a business that gets outside of the box advertising, lots of social media love, that sort of thing, let us know about who it is and we'll follow up, okay? Okay, cool. Till next time, don't be an asshole. Nobody wants to be around that. Have fun, play hard, and most of all, believe in yourself. You've been listening to the Toddcast Podcast, powered by Citywide Mortgage Services, dedicated to helping you find the best mortgage rates, Available seven days a week at citywidemortgage.ca. Talmor, Sheshin Murahi. Talmor is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My gran says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Ah, the web tour. Those that both creators and were created by the threads disentangle from the fringes to feast on the very thing that spawned them. What's up, Siri? This is how you deal with it! <laughs> no! Not! Ah. my children! Oh, you lost a feather. Can I keep it? No, you can't force me to! Do you know what lies within nothing? Rocket is in trouble, Akasa! Can, can we turn on the windshield remotely? No! She could lose her job as Nakasar. I don't fear Vehar, no. But you fear me. If you intend to trick me, I will not hesitate to sever the oath bond entirely. Why didn't you help me? Coward! I don't have a parachute! I don't like free falling! Counterbalance, a high fantasy audio drama. Season 2, coming 15th of October 2023. Learn more on trilunas.com. I'm Laura Cathcart Robbins, and I'm the host and creator of Only One in the Room podcast. Every week, my co-host Scott Slaughter and I invite you to join us for an hour and lose yourself in someone's incredible only one story. We talk to the realest of real people dealing with issues like infertility, addiction, human trafficking, and body shaming. Oh, and we want to be fair, so we talk to some celebrities too. Oscar winners, New York Times bestselling authors, supermodels, and even the most decorated U.S. Winter Olympian. Everyone is invited to share their only one story with our listeners. This podcast is for anyone who has ever felt alone in a room full of people, which is to say that this podcast is for everyone. Download Only One in the Room wherever you listen to podcasts today.